In this video, I am going to show you how to create a footprint for a throughable resistor. So basically, Depress has a uh, default library named as Discrete in which you can uh, browse for different compounds like capacitors, resistors, LEDs and diodes. But the size of the resistor may vary based on the power ratings. So the footprints and uh, symbols used here may have different sizes when compared to the real time resistors. So to avoid this uh, confusion, I recommend you to create a separate library for throughout resistors based on the power ratings and a separate library for uh, SMD resistors. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a footprint for a throughout resistor based on its power rating. So let's get started. So in this sheet you can see the size of the resistor specifications may vary based on the uh, power rating listed here. I am going to use this uh, 0.25 watt resistor as an example and show you how to design a footprint for it. So after that you can create a footprint for all these resistors. So for that just go to depress and click on pattern editor here. So as I recommend, just create a new library for resistors. So I'm going to use a resistor and name it as power rating as the hint here. And make sure the library group is user patterns and click on OK. So first step is to design the pad for the resistor, which is based on the lead diameter here you can see da is the lead diameter which is basically the whole diameter so for 2.5 i mean 0.25 point uh, watt resistor the lead diameter is 0 0.6 plus or minus 0 0.05 so i'm going to use 0 0.6 as the value here so the stats shown here may vary based on the uh, resistors you use so please refer the uh, respective data sheet of the resistor you are going to use in your printer circuit board. So I'm going to give the lead diameter just click on pad and right click on the pad again to open the properties click on types and dimensions. So the whole diameter mentioned here is 0 0.6 mm right. So before that make sure the unit you have in your tool as mm not as inch or mil so i am going to use mm as the unit here click on properties again so the whole diameter will be 0 0.6 right so next is the pad width and height which is given by the whole diameter plus 0 0.6 or 0 0.8 mm so i am going to use the maximum value as 0 0.8 here which is based on some standards people use in uh, PC medicine industries so 0 0.6 is the whole diameter right so I'm going to type in the whole diameter plus a minimum of 0 0.6 or a maximum of 0 0.8 the standard may vary based on the different guidelines but for demonstration purposes on how to create a footprint I'm using this value click on equal to again so it will give you 1.4 and 1.4 as the width since the shape of the pad should be round right so I'm going to click on OK now now as per the data we are given 0 0.6 is the diameter of, diameter of this hole and 1.4 is the copper area including the hole so just click on properties again and place this first pad on the origin of the axis that is 0 comma 0 click on ok so next step is to place the second pad right so a resistor needs two volts to mount it right so next we have to find the pitch between the holes of the footprint so basically the lead length that is 28 is given for the total 
lead length of the resistor but when you uh, mount the resistor in a PCB you bend like this and insert it and solder right so we need to divide it by 2 that is 6.5 is the body length this is the body and 28 is the total lead length so we we need to reduce the size of the resistor uh, which will save the a lot of space in the board as well eventually which will save your money and uh, decrease your budget right so just divide it by 2 that is 28 by 2 will give you 14 right so I'm going to paste next pad 14 mm next to the pad 1 so I can just copy this pad and paste it here click on properties so this pad should be the second I mean this second pad should be pasted away I mean uh, 14 mm away from the first pad right so I'm going to name it give the y axis as 0 and give here 14 click on ok now the pad is pasted I mean the second pad is pasted 14 mm away from the first pad so let's go and center the pattern now click on Oh, just a minute click on center pattern so let's go and measure the distance between the pads that is called pitch now we can see the space between the pads is called pitch I mean from the whole center of the hole alright so next we need to design the body of the resistor so again I go into the excel sheet where the body length is given that is 6.5 and the body diameter is 2.5 right so again just go to replace and click on the rectangle symbol here make sure the option here is top cell and just draw a random box here which will accompany the body of the resistor so in this these two points I mean so name I am going to name these points before explaining that so this point will be A this will be B this will be C and this will be D so among these four points A and B are movable based on the value you are given and these two points I mean B and C will move based on the uh, position of A and D so first I will give the points for a B in diagonals that is this point so here we need to subtract 6 point I mean divide 6.5 by 2 and also 2.5 by 2 to uh, position the body of the resistor correctly with the axis we use so I am going to use my calculator and give the data here so 6.5 by 2 will give you 3.25 I'm going to pick a notepad and note the values 3.25 is x and the next value will be 2.5 by 2 right 2.5 by 2 will give you 1.25 1.25 will be the y here so again just go to the footprint I mean pattern editor and click on the cell screen here click on properties so the position here will be minus 3.25 and then y will be 1.25 right so I'm going to give 1.25 and the next point will be the same value but we have to interchange the minus symbol here here 3.25 Let, let's go and confirm the value once again and here 1.25 click on ok now you can see the body of the resistor is fixed so let's go and check the cross check the values with the footprint here so the body of the resistor should be 6.25 
and the body diameter I mean body length will be 6.25 the body diameter should be 2.5 right so we need to measure it again so click on the measurement option and let's measure the length of the rest area so that is 2.5 I mean 6.5 here and the diameter should be 2.5 right and you can see that is 2.5 right so let's check whether the body has the correct measurements with the pads as well three points on five and here again three points on five all right everything is fine we have designed the correct resistor for an i mean resistor footprint for a 0.25 watt resistor so that's how we design a resistor after finishing the footprint work just merge all these layers here and name the resistor as 0.25 watt right so the reference will be R for resistors and the value is based on the resistance of the resistor but I said earlier the size of the resistor varies based on the power rating not based on the resistance right so just click on save so you can create a new folder here and click on library and the file name will be resistor right click on save so now that we can connect this footprint with an symbol and use it the uh, component in the schematic so again i am recommend you to create a separate library for all this resistor based on the power rating and use it in the schematic for smooth function and it will save a lot of time for you and also the confusion all right so hope you have got an idea of how to create a resistor i mean true world resistor so in the next videos i'll be showing how to create footprints for an uh, capacitor transistor ic's and so on so if you have any doubts in this video just go ahead and post your doubts in the learn pcb design facebook group i am always happy to help you bye bye